Hey guys, it's Living for Jesus, Adrienne Marie. I'm back with a wash and go video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how I get my hair to be nice and curly and defined. So this is a week old wash and go. And I'm just gonna start by taking my hair out of a puff. I've probably been wearing for about a couple days. And um, you can see that my hair just needs to be conditioned. So I start by sectioning off my hair. I do four sections, two in front and then two in back. And I'm just um, sectioning off my hair, twisting it up. And um, usually I do this the night before when I do my pre-poo. And since I've already done a video on that, I'll just uh, link it in the description box or have it up here so you can click on it somewhere. <laughs> My hair wasn't that tangled this day and I also wanted to show you guys that it's pretty easy to do your full wash day without having to do your pre-poo and get pretty good results as well so all right now it's time for the wash so I do use shampoo I use Trader Joe's tea tree tingle and then uh, I also like their conditioner which is good for a co-wash you also want to make sure that you have a drain in your sink to catch your hair. Okay, so here I'm basically just drenching my hair with water. And I'm using the water to help me to do a little detangling, get a little bit of the knots out. It's not, it's not really uh, detangling my hair. I'm just um, kind of smoothing it down and then using the water to um, kind of help just rake through my hair. So once I get my hair uh, completely drenched, then I'll take the shampoo and I'll use one hand and hold the hair taut down while I uh, shampoo my scalp and make sure um, all the buildup is out and then that I also give myself a good massage. Giving yourself a massage on your wash day is really good because, uh, it, especially if you're putting good products on your on your hair and your scalp, it helps with blood flow and um, it helps your hair to grow. So, win-win. So once that's shampooed, I just get that up out of the way and start on the next section. So this section I do almost exactly like the first. I begin by just running the water through my hair, doing a little finger detangling as I go, making sure my hair is completely drenched. Okay, so here's where it gets a little different. Here's where I twist up my hair. And then shampoo. This way I don't have to hold my hair and I can actually use both hands to massage my scalp. And it feels so much better with two hands. I also don't have to worry about retangling my hair once I've detangled it when it's in twists so um, that's another reason to go ahead and wash your hair while it's in twists and you don't have to worry about breakage and all of that so once I get through all of the sections of my hair with the shampoo I then go back and rinse all of that out and I just hold my hair straight um, as I'm rinsing if I undo my twist and then I retwist it again once I finish that if I decide to keep my twist in I rinse it out with the twist still in and I just kind of squeeze my twist 
so that I'm not, again, having any unnecessary breakage. All right, so now it's time to deep condition. And I do that with the Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength, Grow, and Restore Treatment Mask. All right, so I take a good amount of this stuff and I just kind of work it into my hair. I love it because it's really thick. It reminds me of my um, banana and avocado mixture that I make. And uh, I can tell when something's really good for my hair when um, I put it in and I can see my curls start to form. And I just work it into my hair using praying hands method. And there you go, see my hair uh, curling up. And I do that all over the section until I feel it go smooth. Um, and then I twist it up. And when I feel my hair smooth, that's when I really know that the product's in there and um, it's working really well. And then I twist it up out of the way. I'll show you guys on another section. Deep conditioning is really good for your hair. I do it once a week. I think that uh, my hair is more manageable. I don't have as many tangles throughout the week. Um, my curls are more defined when I deep condition my hair. So, um, yeah, don't skip this step. It may take you a little bit longer just to, um, but your hair will thank you. And I usually don't have a lot of breakage. So deep conditioning as a natural is a must. So once I get all of that worked in, I just twist it up and then move on to the next section. And I do that all over my hair. And then once all of my hair is moisturized and deep conditioned, I take the clips out of my hair and then I put on a plastic cap. And then I sit under the dryer or put on a thermal cap and I have that on for at least uh, 30 minutes. Um, once I'm done under the dryer, I come back and rinse all of the deep conditioner out of my hair. I don't rinse it out in twists because the deep conditioner is really thick and it'll just stay in my hair no matter no matter what I do. I, I tend to not be able to get all of it out when I keep it in twists and try to rinse out my hair that way. So I usually just try, I usually just take down my twists and rinse it all out. That way I know that it's all out and um, I do that to each section of my hair. Taking it down, rinsing it out, and I rinse it out pretty thoroughly. You can know this stuff is good for your hair and it's got great um, ingredients. You want to make sure it's all out. And um, once I'm finished with rinsing my hair, my hair is very clean and conditioned and soft. Next, it's time for styling, and I use the Camille Rose Curl Maker. And I also use oil, which has at least five different oils in this bottle. And then um, I have some extra, well, I have water and then uh, in the spray bottle just in case my hair gets dry and some extra clips. So um, my hair is in four sections but I work in subsections when I'm styling my hair. 
and um, length check, of course. <laughs> so I'm just smoothing my hair down, making sure that there's no tangles in it. And this is a look at my hair with absolutely no product in it at all. So right now I'm just taking water and spraying down the length of my hair, making sure that it's damp. Not soaking wet, but damp. And I'm smoothing the water into my hair. And then I take a comb, a wide tooth comb, and I'm um, making sure that all of the tangles are out. And then I go in with my oil and I'm just massaging my scalp and then I take it down the length of my hair once I got it worked into my scalp. So that's what you see me doing here. And I use the praying hands method to really work it in. I'm trying to remember all of the oils in um, in my mixture, but it's escaping me right now, so I'm gonna have to put it in the description box for you guys. Or maybe I'll make a video. You guys let me know in the comments what you want. So once I put in the oil, I begin to work in the gel. So I take one pump of the gel and start uh, working that into my hair using the praying hands method. Um, I work that in until it's smooth or until I see my curls. And um, I also usually put in a leave-in conditioner, but this day I decided not to just because my hair already felt conditioned. So I just skipped that step and went to the next. And another close-up of my curls. So I'm taking another small section of hair and smoothing any leftover gel from my hair onto that section. And you can see it really doesn't take much, but I'm heavy-handed, so um, I usually take one pump per that small section of hair just to make sure that it has enough on it because what I don't want is for parts of my hair to be puffy and other parts to be curly and you can see me kind of raking my fingers through my hair And then you want to also make sure that you're getting the roots so that your roots aren't puffy um, as well. You want to make sure that it works all the way down from your roots to your ends. And then once I finish a section, I will clip it, clip the whole thing at the base so that it doesn't start puffing up as it dries. And then I'm just showing you what I do to the front. I've basically done my whole head at this point. So I've already put water on it, combed through it. And now I'm getting some oil. Applying that to my scalp. I don't know what I was singing. Uh, I'm, I'm usually playing music when I do my hair. And then once I apply it to my scalp, I apply any leftover oil to the rest of my hair. And then when I get to the top, I usually will take that half section and break it into smaller sections too. So there's usually three sections 
in front. So again, just kind of raking through my hair, doing a little praying hands, a lot of different methods. And you know your hair best. So you know what works best for your hair. And um, usually when I get closer to the front, doing some shingling towards the front um, works for my hair. So that's why I think that you should really get into your own hair and not just go to a salon all the time so that you know how to do your own hair and um, nobody knows your hair better than you do because what worked in the back for me just to do some just to do the praying hands method doesn't always work in the front so um, yeah, that's why I do a little bit of shingling in the front instead of doing that all over my head. So I didn't learn this overnight. It I've been natural for, oh gosh, maybe three years now. And um, it really took a lot of trial and error and patience to figure out what works for my hair and what keeps it from shrinking and what keeps it from going into a weird jerry curl afro type looking style uh, so um, i would do a lot of twist outs before i would do wash and goes so um, don't be afraid to really get in and start working with your hair So I just clip that last section at the base and then use a close up of my curls. Now I'll sit under the dryer like this for about 15 minutes and then I'll come back and take all the clips out and then I'll sit under the dryer again for another 15 minutes. So this is just me taking all the clips out and fluffing it up a little bit to get to get those crinkles out where the clips were. So at this point my hair was about 50% dry, mostly um, at the end. So of course I sat back under the dryer and got um, most of my hair dry. This is after I came from under the dryer and you can see that my hair is very shrunken but I don't mind that. Um, what I care most about on my wash days are do I have curls? Are my curls defined? Is my hair soft? Is my hair conditioned? Those are the questions that I ask myself after wash day and you can see every single curl is fine. And here's a picture of me a couple days later after I've stretched my hair. Let me know if you want me to do a video on how I stretch my hair. Also, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.